Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression of a new eyeshadow palette. It is the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. You guys know I love neutrals, so I was so pumped when I got this. I'm gonna quickly switch over to me with no makeup on, so don't be scared. So this is what the packaging looks like. Hello, can we just take advantage of my new auto focus camera. I'm still not over it yet. I've had this for maybe two videos now and it's just so exciting to me. Uh, nice big mirror. Hey, hey, hey. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, twelve matte shadows. So they are all matte except for this one. I feel like that doesn't look very matte. It looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it. They're supposed to be all new eyeshadows exclusive to this palette and they are all different from the naked what are they called? The Basics palette, I think it's Naked Basics 1, Naked Basics 2, I'm not sure, I don't have them. This is my first Basics palette, which just so happens to be the ultimate Basics palette. Okay, okay, enough talk. This retails in Canada for $68, 54 in the States. I definitely see some colors in here that I think that I can use. It has a mix of cool tone and some warm tone, which for me, mm, I personally prefer all warm tone because I feel like cool tones like these just don't look good on my skin tone. Now when I first opened this palette, which was on Snapchat, if you guys aren't following me, I do a lot of unboxings on there so you can add me. My username is Trina Dura. But I told you guys I was really excited about this shade because I've been looking for a orangey, warm tone shadow for my transition color in my crease. So I was so excited to see that this palette had that. But now that I'm looking at it, hopefully I go back on this, but I kind of feel like I've had a change of heart and there's not enough colors in here that excite me. Let's just give a few of these a try. That right there is blow and that's the one that I thought was a little bit shimmery. Maybe we're not gonna do swatches cause half of these do not even show up on my wrist. That one is called Nude, and that it is. This is Lockout. I totally suck at swatches. I always forget this until I start. The color of that is nice. And here is the one that I've been waiting for. Ooh. This is called Extra Bitter. It has a red hue to it. This is that dark purple one called Lethal. Pretty good pigment. I'm gonna start with Blow. And I'm gonna apply this to my brow bone. Yeah, look at that! See, that is not matte. That does not look matte. So now I'm gonna use Faith, this one right here, in the crease. That's a nice color, but it's giving me a little bit of a sheen because I'm using the same brush that I used for the highlight. Now I'm just looking at the palette and trying to come up with what I want to do next. I think I'm gonna have to be forced to use this shade that I really don't want to do. Oh boy. I would just not wear these shadow, this color combo. Excuse me while I take this off and then I'm gonna show you a better use of this palette. All right, round number two. I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and I'm gonna dig into nude and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. And this color is very true to its title. It is definitely nude. On me, I'm like a medium skin tone, so you can't even really see that it's on there. So in my case, it kind of works pretty well to set the entire lid. But if you are darker than me, I do not think this was gonna show up on you. Now I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna dig into Faith again and try this color out, this time with a different base. So just in my crease, and I'm gonna focus this to my outer edges. And I'm gonna go into this darker brown right here called Lockout and just deepen this up just a tad. That color applies really nicely, especially with a, like a fluffy brush. It just goes on super smooth. Now I'm liking where like the smoky eye is going, but I need to add an eyeliner now. So instead of using a liquid liner, I'm gonna try out this Kajal Coal Eyeliner from Marcel. This is actually a lip brush because I can't find the brush I'm looking for, but I just need something to blend out this edge. And now that I have most of it blended how I like, I'm going to use a pencil brush and take some of this black, and I'm just gonna lightly trace over where I applied the liner. 
I just want to try putting a little bit more color into the crease. This is usually where I look back and regret it because I use too much product, but this is a first impression. So I'm going to take a little bit of uh, Faith. It's the lighter brown. And I like this brown because it's a little bit more warm tone than the other darker brown in here because I think that that one's a little bit more cool toned. I'm liking where this is going. I put the lashes on. I cleaned up underneath the eyes. Remember how I use this lip brush to blend out my pencil liner? Duh! I realized that the brush that comes with it has like the perfect little smudger on one side of it. It's a duo sided brush. What I did once I had the lashes on there was just rim my waterline again and then I went over it with this brush. Amazing. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Blow, which is that not so matte shade. It's like the only one in the palette that is not completely matte. Now it's actually really cool toned. Not crazy about it. Throws off my smoky eye. I'm just going to put a little bit of this black along my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to go back to the brush that it comes with and use a Lockout and run it over that lash line and it'll kind of diffuse the black and just kind of smoke it out a little bit. And that is my finished look after all of that. My first impression of this. Let's talk about the packaging. When you see it, it's gorgeous. You just want this because it looks like money. Then you open it up. I'm not super crazy about the cool tones in here, but again, that's just me. I absolutely love this. Even though I didn't wear it on this look, I feel like this is something that I'm gonna wear all the time. And these browns right here, without a doubt, are like the two that I think that I will use the most in this palette, which is pretty similar to every other palette that I have. I always flock towards the browns. Now with that said, I do have a lot of neutral palettes. I do have a lot of matte shadows as well because of all the other ones that I own. It's probably not my favorite. If I was traveling, I would have to take more than this palette because I don't feel like I could get a full look out of this and be happy with the look that I created. Whereas if I had another palette, I would totally dig into some of these tones in here. What I need to just kind of add a little bit more shadow, darken a look up. I don't know how often I'll use these, but the bottom row and like this right here, for sure. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked how the makeup turned out. Click that subscribe button if you're new. I post new beauty videos to this channel every week. I also have a vlog channel. It's called Life with Trina, so make sure to pop on over there to see everything that I'm doing when I'm not filming for you guys over here on this beauty channel. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.